Hello friends, a teacher wanted to analyze the performance of his students in a mathematics test of 100 marks. So he made a grouped frequency distribution table as you can see here. First he counted how many students scored 30 or below. Those who couldn't pass assuming passing marks is 30. After that he made classes of width 10 like 30 to 40, 40 to 50, 50 to 60, 60 to 70 and 70 to 80. And he kept scores 80 and above in one class. We learnt in our previous video how to create histogram from the data. So here is the histogram he created to show to the headmaster. If we look at the height of the bar, we can say 50 to 60 class interval has the highest number of students, 12 students. And 80 to 100 class has lowest number of students. We know histogram represents frequency distribution in classes and the area of rectangles are proportional to the frequencies in a histogram. So this graph may look okay at the first glance but it is not. Why? For example 80 to 100 class has lowest frequency 3 only. We know that but area of this rectangle is quite large as the class width is 20 so its area is 3 into 20 which is equal to 60. The area of rectangle 0 to 30 class is equal to 6 into 30 which is equal to 180. This area is actually greater than the area of rectangle of 50 to 60 class which is 12 into 10 which is equal to 120. That means the frequency of 0 to 30 class is higher than frequency of 50 to 60 class but we know from the table 50 to 60 class has the highest number of students that is 12 students so that is not right what is going wrong here see the area of rectangle is the main factor this problem only arises when the width of classes are not equal here most of the classes in the middle are of width 10 marks and some classes like 0 to 30 has width of 30 marks and class 80 to 100 has width of 20 marks. So this problem only arises when width of classes are not equal. So how to solve it? To get proper histogram we need to find what would have happened if all the class size were same. For example for 0 to 30 class when class size is 30 its height is 6 that is 6 number of students are there. So when the class size will be 10 like rest of the other classes its height will become 6 by 30 into 10 that is equal to 2. The middle classes 30 to 40, 40 to 50, 50 to 60 are all same because they are already of the width 10. For 80 to 100 class when class size is 20 its height is 3 we know from the table original table but when the size is made 10 its height would be 3 by 20 into 10 which is equal to 1.5 for the rest of the classes the value will remain same as they are already in the size of 10 so this is how the new histogram will look like now this graph will gi give us proper picture Remember, area of rectangle in this histogram is proportional to the frequency. So now let's see the area. Area of rectangle of class 0 to 30 will be equal to 30 into 2 which is equal to 60. Whereas area of rectangle of class 50 to 60 will be equal to 10 into 12 which is equal to 120. And if you see from the original table, number of students in 0 to 30 class is equal to 6 which is half the number of students in 50 to 60 class which has 12 students and its area which is equal to 60 is also half than the area of 50 to 60 class which is 120. So what we did here is normalize the value of class 0 to 30 and 80 to 100 so that they also have a value equivalent to the width of 10 so that all the classes have width of 10 that is apple to apple comparison. Now what happens when we need to compare two histograms, for example say we need to compare the performance of two classes, we will use the frequency polygon which we will learn in the next lesson. Till then, bye bye.